Hey guys! So I have another haul video to share with you. I know I've been shopping a lot recently, um, but I think this is probably the last amount of shopping I'm probably going to be doing for myself at least until maybe Christmas time. Um, it was my birthday this month. Um, it was my birthday on May 19th, which was also the royal wedding. Um, <laughs> I did have a lovely morning watching the royal wedding and watching all the how many vows? Just how many vows? Um, in case you guys didn't know, I I I identify as being British. I'm I'm quite proud to be British and all that jazz. So um, apologies if my loving of the royal wedding offends anyone. It's it's part of my culture. Okay, <laughs> it's part of my culture. Um, but today I want to share with you the stuff that I picked up for my birthday. It was a little bit excessive, but I redeemed some boots points. I did some back to macking. I had a gift card. I got some money for my birthday. And I also got, um, if you have an account with Cult Beauty, they will send you a discount code for your birthday month. And I got 15% off my Cult Beauty order, which was super, super exciting. So I'm gonna start with the really kind of blah things. Like I got some skincare and some hair care. So I'm gonna quickly run through those. I picked up two things from VO5. This is the dry texturizing spray. If you've seen my declutters, I went through um, like all my non makeup stuff. My hair is just being, I've got on a lip lacquer at the moment and it's just so, so sticky. There we go. I've got Rowan with me as well and he's got a whole load of jangly, rustly toys with him. So apologies for that. But if you've seen my declutters, you will have seen I got rid of a bunch of um, hair products because I haven't really done much with my hair in the last like two and a half years. So um, I'm kind of getting back into it. And I picked up a can of the dry texturizing spray from Bio5. I loved using dry texturizing spray. Um, I used to use one for Charles Worthington that they no longer do. Um, there was another one that I used to love. I think it was an Umberto Gainini one or Giannini or whatever, but I don't think they make that either anymore. So I decided to pick up the VO5. I love VO5 products. They're always a go-to company. Um, for me, they, they change their packaging fairly often but the general product range tends to stay the same, which is why I love them. Like this, this is the Volume Blow Dry Spray. I've been buying this stuff for at least 10 years. It never changes. It's amazing. Sometimes it'll come in a spray bottle, sometimes it comes in a trigger spray, sometimes it comes in an opaque bottle, and now it's in this very minimalist looking kind of thing. So yeah, love VO5 products. Um, I also picked up this Boots Lift and I believe this is what has replaced, this range has replaced their um, time delay range, the one that they used to be for anti-aging and such. This is the Buff and Glow 60 second polish, remove dead skin cells without abrasive beads, smooths and softens skins, refreshes, refreshes and brightens. And I can't... I think I saw someone talk about this on Instagram, um, but I, I'm interested a lot in exfoliants at the moment and I have a couple that I enjoy, but I wanted to try another one. So I picked up this one and, um, oh, it says apply small amount to dry, clean skin and gently massage and then wash away the debris. Oh, this could be interesting. I can't quite see um, what the exfoliant is, but I will I will have to do a first impressions on that and let you guys know. But it was on a special offer. I think it was about it was a third off or half price. Um, I'm hoping it's good. Hoping it's good. Um, because. I can't remember if it was actually an advert or someone that was talking about it that I saw, but it looked really good and it sounded really good. It sounded like something I'd be really interested in. So, yes. Um, I have forgotten something. One second. 
So starting with the thing I forgot, I placed an order with Beauty Bay. It was my first order. There was a bit of a hiccup with the delivery, but that was actually more the delivery driver being a fool. <laughs> really, I should I should have complained. But uh, my pack, I waited in for the day it was being delivered. It was supposed to be delivered between four and six. I waited in for it. It's never coming, never coming, never coming. So here's me trying to find every, well, I updated the, um, the tracking status for it. And they said that there was a problem with the address. There was an address query, but no one contacted me. I didn't receive a text message or a phone call. And I knew they had my details because they sent me a text message say, giving me a time frame for the delivery. And they also had my email address. So I don't know why no one contacted me. I ended up um, the next day getting a hold of someone through their online chat and they sorted it out for me. And what it turned out was the delivery driver was coming up the stairs in my building, talked to my next door neighbor and said, oh, do you think they'll be in? And my neighbor said that the person didn't live here anymore because the guy had just said my first name and apparently the people that lived here before was another Laura. Um, so yeah, I was not happy. Um, I don't know who I'm more annoyed at, more the um, the delivery driver for not even attempting to deliver the parcel or my neighbor whom I'd never met before um, interfering in the delivery of my post. I went over there and told her like, my name is Laura, I live here. Please don't do that again. Um, but she's a lot taller than me and kind of scary. So I don't want to confront her again about anything ever. So that was, that was, that was fun. But from Beauty Bay, I ordered the Juvia's Place Masquerade 2 palette. Oh, it is, is it the Masquerade or Masquerade 2 palette? I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head and it's not actually written on here. Oh no, it is, it's just the Masquerade palette. <gasps> guys like I saw like pictures of it it looks beautiful in person it looks freaking phenomenal uh, <laughs> I'm so so excited to actually get around to playing with this I'm gonna play with this really really soon but at the moment my attention is on the color drain palette it's a bit dirty because I have been using it I got the queen of hearts palette I've done two looks already using this. Um, I did a get ready with me today and I did one a couple of days ago. They might be up by now. If they are, I will link them. Um, but this is just beautiful. These are beautifully pigmented. They are buttery. They blend like a dream. The shimmers are amazing. I just, oh, why? Why did I hesitate on this? I should have just, I should have got it over a year ago. Imagine how much fun I could have been having for the past year if I just picked this this palette up. And I got a couple of palettes. Well, I got four palettes from Cult Beauty. Um, if you've seen my wish list video, um, if you've not, I'll link it in the box. But I wanted a few Viseart palettes or Visor or however you want to say it. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Visart. It could be Viseart or whatever. Let, let's not even get into it. But I picked up four palettes because I had the 15% off discount and it basically made £69 palettes down to like 58 59 I can't remember the exact math, but it made it really, really worth it. Yes, it's expensive to put out at once, but I had been putting a little bit aside because I was intending on getting a palette or two for my birthday and the fact that I got the discount I was just like yeah what let, let's let's just get them all so we have the warm matte palette we have the dark matte palette we have the editorial brights which hello beautifulness this just looks amazing. It actually, they actually kind of remind me of the colors I have from Sugar Pill, like a lot, but yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Bijou Royale or Bijou Royal or however you want to say it. And these are all beautiful jewel tone shimmers. They just look phenomenal. So I'm 
I'm so happy to have these guys. I'm going to get so much use out of them. Um, I like to use my neutral mattes. I use that a lot in my kit and these will both bridge my collection and my kit um, because these are pretty much every eyeshadow I could possibly with these these four palettes and the neutral matte palettes they're pretty much every eyeshadow I could possibly ever need so yes unless except for maybe like a cool tones palette but I don't tend to do a lot of cool tone work but yeah sorry rambling I did do some back to macking when I did my declutter back at Christmas time I set aside all my old mac products and I took some in and our store our local store you can only do three rounds at a time so I back to mac for three lipsticks <laughs> I picked up whirl which is gorgeous i love whirl lip liner and i've always wanted to get lipstick i actually wanted ruby woo and orange but they didn't have it I have either of them actually i got another tube of jubilee which i love so much i've gone through a whole tube of it before and then we have brave which i really liked having this before but my previous tube went bad but it is a beautiful warm pink and as I said I did spend some Boots points and I also had a Boots gift card and I got some money for my birthday which I sent out Boots so starting with these two guys I got some primers these are the airbrush away primers from number seven I got one in um oh it's on the front this is the color balancing primer and it's basically a green primer and this one is the radiance boosting primer which this is really interesting it's got a seal of course it's got a freaking seal i mean yay it's got a seal um but it's really cool it goes it's like like a just a regular lotion but then it has this oh please show up Oh no, I think it, it is slightly showing up. It has like, when, when the light hits it, it reflects this sort of like purpley pink iridescence. It, it looks really nice in person. It looks really nice in person. I can't wait to see how it works on the skin. But yeah, and the green one is basically just a green primer. So I'm not gonna open that one just now. Everything else I picked up was from L'Oreal and it was on 3 for 2 and I have a crap ton of boots points. So, um, yeah, I went a little bit crazy. I did pick up the rest of the Magnetic Stones collection because they all just looked so freaking gorgeous and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the bombs because I don't actually have time to simply off the labels and they're all stuck on pretty tight. So I picked up Lava. Amulet, which I'm excited. Um, there was a color called um, I can't even remember. Um, I think it was Earl Grey or something like that from the NYX Macaron lipsticks. Um, was this color I really pistachio? That was it. Pistachio um, was kind of this color, and I I was in love with it. I was gonna have an out there color lipstick. That would have been it. Um, I picked up Storm, which I can't remember if it's a grey or if it's a like a, a like a washed out dull purple. I will have to get back to that, that one. Then we have Bronze Sautoir. Sot Sautoir. Um, could some of my continental lovies, can you maybe help me with this? Bronze Sautoir. Toir? Not sure. We have Obsidian, which gorgeous dark purples. We have Voodoo. And then we have Purple Studs. So pretty. So pretty. Um, I love the matte lipstick formula from L'Oreal and the fact that they came out with a bunch more colors. I just, oh, love, 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 love. I do need to do a declutter again.
and get rid of some more lipsticks, but I'd, I want to use more of my new lipsticks. Speaking of new, um, I picked up one of the Color Reshine lipsticks, which again, oh my lord, these are... What are they sticking these down with these days? Like, they just don't want you to get into them. There we go. So this is the Color Reshine in Beige in the City. And it's been a while since a brand has come out with these sort of balmy lipsticks. I remember when the Revlon lip butters were a big thing. A lot of brands were coming out with stuff like this. But even, even um, you know, they had the Colorish balms. Um, this is kind of similar, but it's a, I feel like it's a better quality formula. Um, it's not as a slick doesn't it doesn't feel although it's just gonna feel like Vaseline on my lips it feels like it's got a bit of substance to it so I can't wait to actually try this out and again beautiful color very wearable and lastly it was a bunch of lip liners because y'all know I need more lip liners in my life I need every lip liner in the world not just kidding but these are the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Lip Liners. Again, I'm not going to sit and peel off the labels. You can tell when you order online, they come without the label, the sticky bits. And in store, they put the sticky bits on as they put them on the shelf. So we have Off White. This one is Apocalypse, Apocalypse Red. This is Stripped Brown. Tangerine Vertigo, Hollywood Beige, Highlight on Point, online they call this on fleek. Um, this is Darling Pink, Dark River, Stay Ultraviolet, Bye Felicia, um, but online for some reason this is called Blue Bloods. Uh, Invincible Red, Fuchsia Wars, and lastly is Red Fiction. I already had three of the colours from this range and I really enjoy them and I do have the lip sticks and I wanted to, you know, have the colour combos all together and yeah. I'm not going to sit and explain why I just... When I find a product I like, I like to have them all. I like to have every single shade possible, even if they are a bit kooky, like that green one. Like, oh, that's so pretty. You know what? I'm I'm gonna put it on. Again, the ones that actually I think I'd already peeled that one off, but I'm gonna try this one on because oh, it looks so pretty. Let's swatch it. I have no idea. I don't think this is gonna go very well with the. I look. Well, one second, I just need to get some tissue. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, gosh. It's actually a lot more sheer than I thought it would be. Unless it's just my lips are still a bit... a bit too moisturized to adhere. Okay, so this is Amulet. Um, Definitely does not go with this look. Definitely not. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I would wear this particular lip colour. Um, I think it needs a little bit of work with it, maybe with like, um, like an ombre effect of some sort. Whoa, what did I even do with my hair just then? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I definitely need, maybe if I was more tan, um, because I feel like the colour just washes me out just a little bit. It's so, it's so unusual. I do like it though. Um, I think I could pull it off. Possibly. Maybe. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know. Mm. I've always wanted this type of colour. So I'm kind of happy to have it. Anyways, that was everything that I picked up. Um around my birthday as I say this is probably going to be the last that I pick up for a long time um I'm I've settled into a nice groove working through all my non-makeup and makeup products I do have a few 
project pan updates to do and a declutter to do which I'll do in a couple of weeks I think. Well I'll be doing it soon but I don't think it'll go live until like a couple of weeks depending on where it fits in but um yeah there's a lot of content coming from me real real soon so look out for it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Um, if there's anything that you want to see in particular using any of this stuff let me know and I can do like a get ready with me using it. Um, at the moment I'm still in a nice happy groove with the um, Queen of Hearts palette. It is stunning and I love it. But anyways I had better go and get dinner started because Nick and Luna will be home soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.